Hi guys. I'm just very, very tired and since I don't want to make any mistakes where my fingers go in my phone, I think I'm going to take a little short nap when I get home. It feels like 1am in the morning. I don't know what the hell is wrong. Excuse me, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me here. Um, it's only like 2.30 in the afternoon. So much later than that. That's a gray donkey day. See that? Gray donkey day out here. It is cold. I think it's like uh, in the mid 30s, late 30s out here. But yeah, I'm gonna take a nap when I get home, guys. This is uh. And oh my god, my ex friend Sarah, she won't leave me the fuck alone. I had a blocker on Messenger, I swear to god. She was so annoying. She's like, oh wow, I got deleted? Wow. I ignored her. And then hours later or a day later, she's like, Suzanne was right. I don't want to see her shitty comments, man. So I blocked her, you know. So, I'm just tired. I need to donkey sleep with my boy E. He's on the edge of the chair waiting for me to come home. Uh, I know, today's free gift is waiting for me. I know. My game notification from Bingo Blitz. I know. So, I'm at the bus stop. Yeah, I had to block her. She argues way too much. She's over opinionated and she's too blunt. And, and my therapist even says, you don't need people like that in your life, Nora. If, um, if I were you, in my personal experience, I would take him off your Facebook, you know. And I did a good choice with blocking him the other day, you know. I don't care what she thinks. Oh, Nora blocked me. Huh? Huh? Wow. Oh, Nora blocked me. Holy shit. And, and she's like talking to this fake guy. I don't know if Bobby Evans is his real name. Because I found Suzanne's page on Facebook. And there's no Bobby Evans as her friend or nothing. And seriously, um... Bobby claims that he knows my family, he knows my uncle who I despise, and he goes, oh, Nora was so mean to him, all she, all he was asking her is for a one pound of ice cream at Bricks and she turns him down. No, that's not the, that's not the, um, my butt is getting too cold sitting on this bench. Whew. That's not the story. If he would have talked to Larry himself, Larry would say, oh, Nora was being disrespectful, in his own words. So Bobby does not know Larry, okay? Bobby does not know my dad. She's talking to the wrong fake person, okay? Who claims to know Suzanne, who claims that he was dating her back in the day. And, and Sarah says, oh, Nora, she wants to get together with your dad. She wants to know if he's single again. Stop cock blocking her, you know. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't need that shit. You know, I don't need friends who talk to fake people like that. Who don't know my life story. I shared her that chapter on Suzanne. And, and she says, Bobby says Suzanne says that you threatened her life. No, I did not. Man, I did not threaten anybody's life. I was, like I stated in the chapter, I was given her my heart. I gave her the options of living in my home. I was fucking nice and respectful. 
And then she threatened me with a restraining order. Okay? After I tell her a joke. Okay? Alright. So, I know what's right from wrong. And I know that Sarah's talking to somebody who's fake. Okay? She doesn't know who she's talking to, really. So, look at that gray sky. Oh, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, 2.36. God, it feels so much later than that. I'm definitely going to take a nap when I get home. Yeah, she goes, if you text me again, I'm going to put a restraining order on in you. You know? That's what she said. All because of a joke. I'm fucking serious. So, um, yeah, so, uh, now who's watching? It says two. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, Jenny, okay. <laughs> Seriously, if you text me again, I'm going to call the sheriff's, contact the sheriff's department and put a restraining order on you. It was back in 2011. Just because I said a joke. And I didn't know she was getting married. If, if I knew she was going to get married, I wouldn't have said that joke in the fucking first place. Jeez. <sighs> And, and about Sarah now, she claims that her son is being emotionally and physically abused by her ex. I've seen her ex and her son in the mall a couple of months ago, and he didn't look traumatized. The joke? What was the joke, you're wondering? Um, I said something like, my dad said there was a lady in the bar searching, looking at him with her eyes. You better date him before you lose a chance or something like that. Seriously. And, and so Sarah's like so blunt, and I think she's lying the whole way through her teeth about her ex for a while. You know, and he, CJ, her son CJ, he looked fine at the mall. He didn't look traumatized with his dad, um, with his dad or anything. Come on. And she also thinks it's okay to call somebody fat, even if it's the fact. What if she thinks it's okay for CJ to say, oh, say hi to that fat guy. Hi, fat guy. He'd probably get punched in the face. This is why I blocked her, too. I don't want to hear her shit. I don't want to have her arguments with me. Period. Where are you, boss? Come on, come on. Where are you? Are. So. This is the parking lot. This is the campus. Ooh, my knee kind of went snap. That was weird. Didn't hurt or nothing. <sighs> I'm gonna. What the heck? I lost connection or something for a second. But yeah, I'm gonna end this soon. Um. I just wanted to say, um, I'm gonna take a nap when I get home. When the connection is cutting in and out anyway. So I'll see you around, donkeys. Yeah.